today we're very curious how did you arrive at the concept for that show well the show is called slow me down and it's all about fast-paced world fast-paced living internet everything we got going at the touch of a button nowadays and it's about slowing down and enjoying the moment and big contrast from the fast to the slow having fun with the whole thing so good very good so how did you decide to choose your symbols for the show was it a group decision or an individual decision um, I always hate when we have massive symbol bombs in the middle of the show, so I actually prefer, especially at Chino Hills, because we have a larger symbol line. It's a lot better to try and go with smaller symbols um, to minimize the effect on the overall ensemble when we have full unison crashes. Um, so, so, John, so it, it's a group decision, I suppose, if you consider me and Ian yeah. a group. Yes. So. I mean, I basically handle the you know what I want to do with the battery marching symbols, and then. He does whatever he wants with the, the pit symbols. So how did ensemble. you choose the battery symbols? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I've been using the 18-inch stadium medium symbols for probably about 10 years now. Um, so I guess I don't really pick them every year. I just use them every year because I know them and I, I love them. Uh, I really like the sound. They're very affordable. I really like the 18-inch size because they keep down with the volume, um, especially with a seven-man symbol line get pretty intense. Even a four or five band symbol line can get pretty intense. And also for, for me, the, the high school kids, there's a lot of small kids. 
And moving around those big 20 inch and 19 inch symbols is very difficult for them. And it's like, you know, most of the time in different high schools, freshmen, sophomores, some of the younger guys, they're real small, they're real young. Like, well, I don't need to burn them out with a pair of 20s. That's going to be too loud with every crash anyways. So, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. Um, and they're just real affordable and really solid and reliable. So. Did you ever consider any other symbols before you picked the stadiums? Or? Um, I guess so. I've just, I guess I've just used them for so long that I don't remember. <laughs> and I just, that sound. you know, I just like it and I feel comfortable with it. So. Good. Well, Ian, over to you then with the pit. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, many sounds to choose from. But yeah. How did you pick the, what you pick? Um, I like to have. There's some people that pick. You know, we want a 20-inch suspended symbol on everything, and then everyone gets an accent symbol. Um, I found that especially in the indoor environment, you don't need a bunch of the same symbol. I like to have a really great. 20 inch classic orchestral, love that symbol. And then I love having like a really great 18 inch fast crash that could kind of uh, be a suspended symbol. You could hit it for an accent. Basically, I like to have the whole gamut of symbols so that regardless of the show, uh, we don't have to go buy new symbols to do it. But there's specific things that I like uh, to have for this show. In instance, there's a lot of short China accents and splash accents. So that's some stuff we either have to get and buy or we have to kind of round it up. Was there any particular sound or special symbol or special sound effect they really wanted for this year's show that you got? Um, we're using a drum set player this year right in the center of the floor and for me it's really important not to have an overbearing ride cymbal sound throughout the show but it's a great way to keep a continuous flow of tempo between the pit and the battery. So we use a, um, a 20 inch medium uh, K Custom and it's a great, normally you use that for a jazz ride. It doesn't project a ton of articulation up to the top, but when you're within the pit, it really helps keep everything together without having it be blatantly obvious that you're trying to keep tempo right in the center of the pit with a ride cymbal. So that was a big sound, and the Oriental Trash Splash is like the greatest splash. It cuts all the way to the top of the building. They last forever. I would buy 10 of those and just always use them all the time. They're an amazing cymbal. Um, and any of the little uh, mini trash chinas, any of that stuff, just to add the extra flavor, we always throw that on top of snare drum shots and features and all that. Great. Zill bells? Zill oh, bells. Yes. I was just going to say, I Gotta love, love the Zill bell. The Zill bell the Zillbell's great. It's <laughs> off to the side in our rack. Um, and I love the Zill bell because it's, you can actually use just such a wide variety. You can use sticks, xylo mallets, different hardnesses of mallets to create all the timbres. And we're always trying to flesh out vertically like a big accent in the battery with the orchestration and throwing a zill bell on top with the oriental trash splash you just get this massive sound that you can't get from just the battery and so as you use quite a variety of symbols on the producer sounds that you get absolutely with, with 17 to 18 kids in the pit <laughs> you got to give everyone something to do if everyone's hitting a 20 inch symbol you get wow Yes. And sometimes you need a lot more than that to make all that work. So it's fun to think about the cymbals as their own orchestration. You've got your soprano voice, your alto voice, your tenor voice, and the bigger, wider cymbals. And then I try and think about that when we're arranging where the cymbals are going to be. Sonically, are we getting a stereo image of, uh, is that 20-inch cymbal over there blending with this 20-inch cymbal? Does it sound right side heavy? All these things go into it when you have that many cymbals to choose from. It's fun. Well, I mean, and it's interesting, too. Like in in the, in the fall and the outdoor, there's lots more symbols. There's lots of stuff going on. And then every time we get into the indoor, I, I, he starts pulling the clamps off, starts putting them in the bags, and it's like, absolutely. Uh, you know, too many symbols can create a lot of issues, too, up front. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add here at the end? Uh, the support from Zildjian, uh, especially this year, my first year as an artist, has been absolutely awesome. It's been great to be part of the family, to be part of the team, um, with a symbol that I absolutely believe in. I've used since I was a kid as a drummer, and then now being able to grow up. And the majority of my pits have been able to afford on almost all Zildjian setup. So that's been really exciting to get that and just to get the kids the sound that I want for them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the product speaks for itself. You know, I've been using it. I've never, I don't think I've ever used anything else, to be honest. <laughs> I've just, I don't remember. It's like the, it's like the 18 inch medium, but I mean, at least 15, 18 years. Yep. Just been playing those since I was a kid and, and I know the sounds are great and the product's always solid, so. How did you decide to get the concept for this year's show? Uh, well, actually the concept uh, was developed several years ago um, and it came from basically 
uh, myself, my wife, and uh, Bill Woodward, who works along with me, we were movie watching. Um, and we came across some, um, some clips of some of the families who have lost uh, soldiers at war. Um, and it was just very, very touching um, to hear the families discuss their own sacrifices uh, when their loved ones are off at war. Um, so it felt interesting to see, you know, this is something that's often overlooked, um, not always told. Um, so we've had it for a while and we were waiting for the right, you know, group and staff of uh, kids um, that could pull it off. So that's where we got it. Oh, very good. So then, of course, obviously you had to pick the symbols for this year's show. Uh, now, when you pick your symbols, is this a uh, staff decision or just one person does it or what? Um, well, I guess everything kind of leads through uh, myself, but obviously with the writers uh, and with Kelly, our symbol tech, we discuss every single symbol um, and the sound, um, discuss it with the arrangers, uh, but we pick based on concept. Uh, so whatever the show concept is, we look for the matches to fit that. Um, so just for example, if you look at United 09, uh, what we're using this year is very different from just that. So your selection it would, might change from year to year. Absolutely. Although some might stay the same. Absolutely. Good. Well, very good. Uh, so what type of symbol did you pick for this year, let's say, to use in a pit? Uh, well, up front, we like the Constantinople series. And what we do, if you look at the boards, is we mix um, the suspendeds and the crashes, um, different sizes, just to get uh, the kind of dark, warm uh, sound um, and blend that we're looking for for this particular program. Uh, we use some of the splash symbols and kind of uh, double them up to get some effects uh, to mimic some of the sound, the conceptual sounds we need in the show. Uh, for example, a lot of the uh, war sound hits um, come from that. And then what we do on our racks is we go for a long a variety of different sounds. Uh, we do a lot of consultation, uh, even with yourself, uh, have been very helpful uh, to try to find the right blend um, to get the concept across, but at the same time to be clear enough in this activity, understanding that we're doing drums in the gym. <laughs> well, that kind of leads to the next question, was, was there any particular type of symbol that you really were looking for, the particular sound you were looking for? You mentioned the, the, the war sounds. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, the effect symbols, the splash symbols come in handy. Um, even some of the, uh, the, the trash symbols, the china lows. We use all that stuff at a different uh, point to get an effect, even uh, the swish knocker. Um, and that, in combination with what's, what we use on the uh, drum set, and on the uh, field uh, or the floor right. um, to get a blend there. I mean, the, the floor was a very interesting uh, decision uh, this year.